Hi guys, it's Natalie and today we are on the floor. Kind of an unusual spot for me. I wanted to do a, I guess, makeup collection tour. I had done some of these in the past that were like detailed parts of my collection. But today is going to be kind of an organization so slash declutter mostly. I really want to get rid of expired makeup, which is something <laughs> something I have a problem with. I have an installment of this previously, which I'll put up in the eye somewhere here. I get really sentimental, like emotional attachments to objects. It's just something about me, like any object. With makeup, I do kind of have just like a, oh, like magpie energy. I've heard it is because I'm a Libra, but I don't subscribe to astrology, so there's that. Basically just, I love collecting tiny little shiny things, and that's makeup, essentially. <laughs> makeup goes bad, and I don't think that makeup going bad should stop you from keeping it. I think a lot of makeup is good well past its supposed expiry date. I use makeup that's apparently like two or three years expired, but it is nearly identical if not identical to how it was when I first purchased it so it's not that big of a deal to me so there are things that are off in here I've been doing makeup since I've been doing makeup for 10 years so there's makeup in here that's like 10 years old probably <laughs> I really want to establish whether or not I still have sentimental feelings to that stuff what I'm ready to get rid of and I feel like this is a long journey especially with something that I'm so attached to like makeup it's just really difficult to make that first move. These lip glosses from Tarte Queen are adorable. They came up with these like tiny ones, like a set of these tiny ones, and I split them up between me and my mom. She used hers up and I mostly used mine up, which is kind of fun. I took these on vacation with me in 2020 all the time. However, they've totally like expired, which is super weird. And this is something that people have said about Tower 28. Some of their things go off like instantly like i feel like everyone's oat lip gloss went off instantly i have my cashew one for like two years and it's still going strong i've had my clear one for more than three years and it's identical to how it was but like i think there's something wrong with the pigments in their products that make it go off this is the orange one called fire it's like a little bit separated because it's old but these oh, i love these but there's the pink one. Ugh. I feel a little bit sentimental about this because it was when I met my boyfriend. But they're really pretty. And I have another one. This is the red one. I got barely any use out of it because it's actually way more pigmented than the other ones. But oh my god. It smells like crap. So. It's just, you can see that it just had way more pigment, which I was not really expecting. Because the original ones aren't. But I mean, it's like three years old now. And these are just really pretty. This is a reminder to myself to never purchase anything from Kosas ever again. This is the Airbrow and I used it like a good amount for a couple months after I got it. But then I realized like, man, I just never be putting brown mascara on. <laughs> I was drawn to this totally by the packaging. I mean, gorgeous, amazing, just like wonderful packaging. And that's why I've kind of held on to it. After three months, it started smelling like ass and it made my like eyebrow skin feel itchy and I just can't like recommend a product like that. Other people have pointed out that Kosas things go bad within a month and I'm just like so over that. <laughs> like, <laughs> These are some ancient little Urban Decay eyeliners in the shades Corrupt. Ooh, that's, that's crusty. <laughs> and the shade Voodoo. These eyeliners are great. I like you know really used them up there corrupts kind of this like shiny purple and then or voodoo is the shiny purple and corrupt is the shiny brown and they're just like good eyeliners this eyeliner formula is really really nice however i never wear eyeliner i always wear eyeshadow as eyeliner i just find it easier and you can make it any color if you have eyeshadow that color <laughs> this is the milani keep it full nourishing lip plumper in luminoso absolutely stunning in the tube very minty and i mean i love the big doe foot these are so suggested by people but i feel like nobody mentions how minty they are and if you're me you know that anything being minty is an absolute no i cannot 
wear a minty lip product even if it's just mildly minty it's like not happening i can't do it there's something about it i don't even like minty toothpaste but also this color really settled into fine lines it was not it was not it i don't really know why people love these so much another one that people really like is this elf doesn't even say what it is on it it's just in this shade coral kiss and i'm pretty sure it's a lip oil and i liked this but the way i kind of feel about everything from the drugstore oops little snooty snooty opinion incoming is that sometimes the formula elegance is just not there it's like fine it's like n normal i guess there's like a plasticky odor to everything from the drugstore just like smell of plastic and i really would rather not have that because it's already scented like there's another scent in here that's like slightly sweet something but then it's also plastic and it's always smelled like that so i don't know just compared to the tower 28 ones that are like you can see how kind of almost watery they are they just have like a juiciness to them and this stuff's just kind of like goop it's just kind of lip goop this one's kind of tough for me this is the glossier storm cloud paint this is the only product of glossier i have left i threw away my old like lipstick because they changed them and mine went mine expired like in a year this thing i mean it, it must be expired <laughs> because i think i was like just turned 18 when i got this and i'm 22 now <laughs> they're just so cute this is in storm and i love this color I feel like this was kind of like the straw that broke the camel's back for me in terms of realizing how much I detest any liquid product. I don't... Oh, oh my god, I love that color. I'm gonna put it to the side, but like, isn't that color everything? I like used this a considerable amount for like the first two months after I got it and then I just like never touched it again because I was like, I just don't reach for liquid products. and speaking of not reaching for liquid products i have these flower beauty blush bombs this is a great formula it's more shiny than the glossier they kind of have to be like shaken up a little the clouds outside look like angelic right now <laughs> i'm like a little distracted this formula it's not a dupe for the cloud paint <laughs> because it's more uh dewy and the cloud paint's more matte these are the shades Pinched, which is the like beige one, and Melon, which is this kind of corally shade. I love the applicator. It is so good. It really is precise. There's like nothing wrong with these except the fact that, okay, they're really pigmented, except for that they're a liquid and I realize I'm just not a liquid blush kind of a gal. You just can't get me to wear liquid blush ever. And these are old enough that I wouldn't feel comfortable putting them on my face. I wouldn't feel comfortable giving them to someone else who might like them because I would just tell them to go buy them from the drugstore because they're cheap. But I mean, they're so pretty. They give such a pretty finish. But I just hate the experience of putting a liquid on my cheeks. These are the ColourPop blush sticks and in a similar vein to the fact that i don't use liquid products i also do not use stick products i'm pretty sure it's just the user experience um i dislike it this one's in the shade more is more this one's in the shade sideways and this one's in the shade 25 8 which i actually liked this color so much that i actually used it <laughs> but um i barely used it and the first two that i mentioned sideways and more is more are shimmer finish and they sit on the skin in just like a kind of metallic way they look like an eyeshadow it's not a flattering blush and the other one though 25 8 is more like a cream finish more things from the drugstore that just go off right away. These Wet n Wild Mega Lash Liquid Catsuit High Shine Lipstick. This one's the shade Send of Nudes. I got this because Jamie Page really recommended this color and I like Jamie Page's style. However, that is not my color. <laughs> I think Wet n Wild things, like, you can get away with, like, trying a funky color like that because it's only, like, a few dollars. It's not that big of a deal. I think it's finally time to say goodbye to this. This is the M Cosmetics 
True Gloss, which I believe she's gotten rid of and reformulated. This is in the shade Lotus Blossom. This, these were so hyped when they came out and it's the only thing I've ever tried from M Cosmetics. And it sat on the lips so weird. It just sits on the lips weird. And they were really hyped, but then I feel like we never heard about them ever again. It just didn't, it's just, it's just better glosses. There was always better glosses and it was overpriced and the shipping's way too expensive. And I'm never purchasing from M Cosmetics again because of reasons. <laughs> so I feel like I can just let this go because I'm ready to let M Cosmetics go. Colourpop had these lip, they have these lippy sticks. They still have these. Um, maybe not these colors though, but the lippy sticks. It's kind of like a slim lipstick. This one's I Heart This in a matte finish. I really love the packaging of these. I think these are a great option if you like want a little lipstick. This one's Little Tings, which is cream, and it was part of the like bug collection. They don't have collections that are that cute anymore. I love this color. Amazing color. I love this color. But I mean, I'm I'm literally never gonna wear these again, and it's just not. It's just not worth it. And I mean, they're beautiful, but yeah, they're like off, and I can let it go. I have a plethora of ColourPop lip glosses that are frankly ancient. <laughs> it's the lip glosses that made me fall in love with lip gloss. This one is in the shade Lychee Me. Lychee Me. I like these doe foot applicators. Really pretty nude shade. I feel like it used to be rosier. Like, see how like it's dried all pink? Gross. <laughs> and don't know how ready I feel to get rid of these sparkly ones just yet, only because I do kind of feel happy just looking at the sparkly tubes of gloss. I was thinking recently, about the like cost per use value of makeup it's a really good way of thinking about makeup if you buy something that was only three dollars and you use it once that one time you paid three dollars to use something once which might or not be worth it depending on like what you're going for if you buy something that's thirty dollars but you use it 30 times you paid one dollar each time to use it so it's like the cost per use value of makeup i feel like ColourPop. I got some cost price value out of these because they're only like six dollars at the time and I used them you know maybe 30 times each so I definitely got something out of that. This is in the shade Neat Freak. I'm positive this was like part of a collection. Oh this is so beautiful. This one's in the shade Finesse. Oh my god this one has like an iridescent glitter. Anything that's iridescent glitter is just gonna get me. I don't think I'm ready just yet. I don't think I'm ready just yet. These were from the My Little Pony collection, but I loved how cute this collection was at the time. This one's Flutter Valley. That is so gold. Man. Do not die. This one is Dream Castle. Oh my god. See, the problem is I swatch these and I'm literally never going to wear them, but just swatching them like brings me joy factor. I'm keeping them. Oops, I'm keeping them. I feel like just looking at these makes me want to keep them. These are the old Urban Decay lipsticks before they came out with the Vice lipsticks from, the, oh my god, they have new Vice lipsticks now. <laughs> these are two lipstick collections ago, Urban Decay lipsticks. This one's the shade Jilted. Oh, the packaging on the- they've not made something with this nice packaging in a really long time. I love berry colors like this. I just love the packaging. Why can't Urban Decay do this anymore? And this one's Matte Blackmail. Isn't that everything? Oh, the closer is so satisfying. But they can go. <laughs> These are some ColourPop lipsticks. They just came out with a new, like, assortment of them, which are some old colors. This one's 21 Questions, which is a velvet blur. I was so excited for these velvet blur lipsticks. They were really, like, reviewed well. But I just, 
they did not look good. They were super like go into the lines of your lips kind of a vibe. Super bloom, like, like just capture on dryness. They look gorgeous in a swatch. And if you have like beautiful, firm, plump lips, like you're good, but I've never had that. <laughs> so, um, yeah, they can go. And this is a color called Lucy that I might keep. It's Angel City. It's like a really old one. It's older than those. That color is so beautiful. Stop. No, I have to get rid of it. No, stop. Stop. This one I'm kind of salty about. This is the Kathleen Lights. She did a bunch of collections of Colourpop, of which I have many things from. However, this is the Loose Pigment in the Scales. She came out with this at like a different point in time and I love the packaging. However, this was kind of like a weird excuse for a loose pigment and it all clumped up together and also like how are you supposed to use that? Like it required like glitter glue or something. It was just like a weird, it was just like a weird thing to sell. I have these ColourPop Jelly Bush eyeshadows. They all dried out. However, Angelica Neekfist recently said that they're water activated. So I want to try that out. And then if they're not, then we'll toss them then. <laughs> but this was from the Wet n Wild Pac-Man collection, which I have a bunch of things from. So it's like those balls. I just, I hate stuff like this. Absolutely not. It's just, the, I just, maybe I'll like find a way to salvage the packaging. So I'll put it with those things, but yeah. These are the L'Oreal Color Reach Shine lipsticks. I don't know if they carry these still or not. I know that they've recently done like overhaul after overhaul. Like they've really like gotten new things in their line. And I really liked these. But man, are they old. They still smell impeccably fruity. <laughs> Glassy Garnet. This one's Burnished Blush. That shade's beautiful. <laughs> Lemonated Fuchsia. I'm pretty sure this is the first one I got. I used to be super into hot pink lips, which is still a vibe. However, I feel like I just... I mean, as I said, I don't wear lipstick anymore, <laughs> unless it's like five. And then this is enamel red. That's beautiful. If they still carry these, I totally suggest them. Be warned that they're like strongly kind of like Claire's like fruit scented. I think I might, I might just have to toss them on principle of the fact that they're like ancient. This is a Fenty lipstick it's a mini i don't she doesn't still have these but this was such an era Ugh. man that smells so bad oh my god <laughs> but isn't that color so gorgeous hot pink me when i was in my hot pink era unstoppable but wow but the packaging i'll think about it <laughs> I did want to just quickly go through this drawer of my oldest makeup. This is the BH Cosmetics 120 color palette. This is like the first item of makeup I ever had. And for that reason, I feel super sentimental about it. However, I mean, look at that. Imagine you're 12 and you get this. <laughs> Pretty cool. I just can't consciously hold on to this any longer it smells so bad actually that it makes my eyes water <laughs> so it can go i can put that era behind me if you will i just realized i have a bag of expired makeup <laughs> probably from my last video that i didn't throw away and i even forgot it existed like i actually have the generation g and like in here <laughs> oh my god wait I still love that color and they don't even have it anymore. Wow, that's going away. Huda Beauty metallic lip color in Snobby. I was literally out here ending this video and then I discovered so much more makeup that I'm gonna throw away because I'm like, I haven't thought about it. Marc Jacobs, brand that doesn't exist anymore, which is interesting, I think. Lamarck Liquid Lip Crayon in 310 Night Mauves. Perry's Ink Velvet. I have a bunch. I have a bunch of these. Ooh, I did. 
Oh my god, look, it's another one of those Fenty things. I'm keeping this one. Smashbox, always on metallic matte rouge in Exo Vlada. Ooh, that's just dried out in there. I do have a bunch of these Perry Perry ink velvets. Holy crap. <laughs> <laughs> this one, Marty. This, these still have all of these. They just are in like slightly different packaging. This is shade 02 and the Airy Ink Velvet. I don't like this formula because it's really silicone heavy, which if you have any dryness on your lips, it's an absolute strong no from me. This one is the Ink Velvet in shade 4, which is that classic like K-Beauty fuchsia shade that's a classic and then these are the first two colors when my lip but better became a thing in six and seven wow that shade is stunningly beautiful holy crap this is stunningly beautiful color i'm keeping that one even though i have <laughs> i have men's associated with this pink it's like, who cares? This Sephora brand eyeshadow palette. I would be, I wore this to some mitzvahs, let me tell you. <laughs> going. I don't know why I still have this, but it's going. Oh my God. Does anyone remember this? I bet nobody does because my videos on it aren't public anymore, but this is the Chosunga 22 Dongang Min Jello color kit. This is when like jelly textured things were so popular and they actually carried this at Sephora when Sephora went through its like K-beauty phase. These were so much fun. The makeup in this bag is terrifyingly old. I'm almost too embarrassed to show it and I think I might just throw away the whole thing and like be done with it emotionally. I'm like ready to put this part of my life in the past where it belongs. I do however before I throw it away I have to show off this Sephora brand unique pink color adapt lip balm they need to bring these back this was a dupe for the dior ones they need to bring these back i am really happy with the fact that i discovered all that makeup that i've swore i threw away um i guess i am a little bit of a hoarder but it's going now for sure <laughs> so i'll see you guys next time thank you so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and yeah i'll see you later so post video natalie here i am showing that i'm getting rid of some other stuff this bobby brown blush that's probably from the 90s this l'oreal highlighter from when highlighter like just became a thing this morphe palette an absolute era let me say this was an absolute era this is a 35 os it's like all shimmers a complete era However, it smells terrible, which is wild because like very few eyeshadows I have have ever like gone off in smell. I am also going to get rid of this Graftobian pigment. I actually got into special effects makeup before I got into like everyday makeup. <laughs> this can go this is the packaging on this is totally broken which is unfortunate this was the manic panic virgin pressed powder isn't that amazing manic panic pressed powder i almost want to keep it for the mems but also it can go <laughs> this sephora single shadow in jungle party it's like Black with green glitters. This was also a mitzvah go-to for me. <laughs> I have this Tarte blush, which is also going to go, but it has this fun packaging. So I wanted to show that off. And I'm feeling kind of conflicted about this Sephora Quint because it's a little sentimental, which is so weird because it's just the most boring thing ever. You know how it is. But yeah, that's just kind of the update. And we'll do another one of these another time. So yeah.